What do you think is the price of glory in Tarkov when you start the wipe with nothing? Welcome to Extreme Zero to Hero. Last time on Extreme Zero to Hero, I went through a whirlwind of emotions. Wins, fails, and a whole lot of tunnel vision. But you gotta see it to believe it, so click here if you haven't seen episode 5. Ever get so fixated on the fight or the dash to extract that everything else just blurs out? Welcome to my world of tunnel vision, where focus is usually my downfall. And like I said, it's not just combat. It's the rush to secure the loot. That gets me tunnel vision too. And that's how I often miss the obvious. Traps, campers, or simply someone just passing by. So while I did change my playstyle a lot to fit the needs of the challenge, I haven't changed it enough. So picking up where I left off, I came back to woods. Only this time I had my Mosin. We got Sturman. Wait, hold up. What's the plan here? I gotta kill five scavs. I gotta do the Tarkov shooter. It's 40 meters. And we got Sturman. I gotta do it, man. This is my only bolt action. Well, no, I have a VPO in my stash. I see him. I see the player. I see the player. He's coming in left to right. There's another guy. So we got a squad of two. Another guy over there. Now they weren't showing their faces, so I moved closer to the water. Could still be inside. Pretty sure I would have seen him had they left this way. Maybe I should move towards lumber. So even if they do move out. Plus Sturman is there, so. Let's hope nobody's here. Hold up, gotta reload. Hold up. No, I got to. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough. You know, the worst part is questioning myself and whether or not I should even have opened fire. But I like to say, there's only one way to find out. And I did. But I had some unfinished business on Ground Zero. I brought my AK and a couple of mags and set out to do some missions before I hit level 20. Because once I do, Ground Zero will be off limits. The car is not here. I got an Akatomi Plaza. All good, man. How are you alive? That's a player. We're good, though. He's looting. There's multiple. That's another guy. Got him.
rough, you know? Woo! And we take out three in what? Two minutes? I'm not sure what to do about that guy. And I need more ammo. I do about this maybe take the helmet what would you guys take aksu right i got shot at by the pp19 i knew it dude the third guy has a friend Minus one. Could be more. Yeah, we got him. Got him. Whew. Wait, that's five. PP19, uh, MP5. Whew. No, we got five. Dude, what if there's another guy? I don't know, man. This guy didn't have anything, just a Taz and a handgun. I mean, never say never, but... Extract is basement stairs. Dude, cool. Holy shit. Cool. Truck has a weapon crate? Oh, really? Touche. Oh, that's a gun. 
HK416. Ah. Uh. Hmm. What don't I need? Like, we can save some space, maybe take the AK as well. Uh, get rid of this. Finish loading up these mags. Then I can always drop, like, a... Don't, don't drop, drop the soap! soap. Don't, don't drop, drop the, the soap! soap. <sighs> this goes here. This goes here. Boom. Bada beam. Bada boom. And we got them all. Hey, man, I like... I like stuff. Okay? I like stuff. This is cool, man. We can use this. Ooh, it's not bad. Let's go and extract. Wait, did I just kill five? Hey. Scabs here. That was surely a good one. But talking about that tunnel vision, I'm always drawn by the PvP and I forget why I went there in the first place. So, take two. Could be here, no? There's one over there. I didn't get him. Bro, how much blood? Yeah, I didn't get him. And it's two. I think I got them both. No? I got no nade. Doing my best to stay calm because I did get a little bit agitated after this fight. I told myself, fair, don't be chasing people around and looking for trouble. It's unbecoming. Focus on the mission and work toward getting that secured container. I'll try to go for the car extract. Last successful raid we did on Ground Zero. The car wasn't there. Did he go inside? Two guys. <laughs> he got killed by a fourth guy. Pack gang. Is there another one? I don't think so. Look at this devil barrel Daryl. What? Oh, it's a scav. 
I don't know like the exact spawns. Oh, 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 you know, when you know, you know. We gotta get the car now. Before it's too late. No, no, no. Don't you go angry. Don't you go angry, Tarbob's cab. Oh, we got the car. After a couple of tries, I finally finished all the quests in Ground Zero. In my final verdict, it is most definitely not a beginner-friendly map. It's kind of like Factory in the Streets of Tarkov setting. Which brings me to a new chapter in my adventure. I had a Mossberg shotgun collecting dust in my stash, so I wanted to see if I can turn it into something more. All or nothing, boys. I ain't got much. Great. I heard a Mosin. I need that. Let's hope we don't get headshot. It's all good. Peek again. Still can't believe the first guy took four shots. That was enough claustrophobic fights for one day. I needed some fresh air, and by now I've gotten used to running with my hatchet, so I visited reserve again to find some more gear. Probably have somebody in this building as well. Someone's up here. Including a duffel bag. I'm screwed. I was lucky enough to find a Glock in the first box I looted, and what happened next left me in awe.
Thank you, I'll be here all night. Kind of. Now, finding this Bitcoin was kind of a turning point. And I wasn't gonna sell it just yet, because I knew if I did, I'd probably buy a bunch of gear, end up losing it, and the chance of me getting a secure container would simply go down the drain. So I decided to wait. I grabbed a handgun and went to Shoreline to cool my head. Wanting to stay out of trouble, I made my way to the village. As you know, this place is usually quiet. And believe it or not, these houses have amazing loot. And a couple of scavs here and there. Did I get the first guy? No, he's in the house. There's four. We got two. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, we are... We killed four so far, so the last guy is in the house. He's got the white beard. That was scary. Okay, we got zero meds. This is beautiful. The whole map. I didn't need a drink. I should definitely grab a bolt action rifle. This is a great map to do shooter. Drink, that's great. I gotta risk it and try and find a backpack. Okay, this is new. Well, maybe Shoreline wasn't such a good choice after all. Having spawned by the scav house, I immediately made my way to the scope shack, as it has up to three weapon spawns, and the plan was to grab a gun and go straight for the USAC camp. However, if the gun isn't there, well, I'll just have to improvise. But we are already used to that, aren't we? Oh, big... Good. All right, we got a nearly full AK. Gun? Oh, shit. We got two guns. FMJ. Where is he? There he is. Oh, it's a Vepper. I kind of want that. By the sound of it, I think Sturman is not here. 
So we'll just continue slow. scope looks ugly but we got a scope everything was going according to plan i had an almost full mag an ak-74 which i modded on the spot and upon arriving at the usec camp i found something else oh shit What gun is that, man? There's an MP5 in a weapon I've never heard before. Right around the antenna. Guess we're gonna hug the heel here. Because it's definitely two PMCs, at least. Could use the drop to, uh, Mask out the footsteps. Oh. That's a player. Yeah. Maybe they're gonna chase the drop. Dude, we found him. There they are. Would be ideal if I could pick off one. We got one. I'm pretty sure his friend has no idea who dropped him. Why is my hand shaking? Do you guys see that? Look at the reticle. Wait, he shot at him. Right? I'll leave that scab alive for now. Alright man, whatever. Something felt off because I heard no sounds for almost five minutes, so I finally mustered up the courage to investigate. Dude, they're both dead. So, you know when the, before I killed the scab with a shotgun over there, I think he killed him. Because, like, the angle is good. Yep. That to a scab. Need a bigger backpack. I looted quickly and made my way for the extract. But get this, even though I collected some gear and my stash was almost full of debatable trash, I decided to go back with just a hatchet. And lo and behold, I got a good spawn. 